everybody it's Ed. Welcome back again. I just want to show you another real quick hit here on some of the increased functionality you get with the newest version of the Supernode software. So we're going to look really quickly at the auto refresh and there's been some debate on this uh, it isn't quite as customizable as what books has done where you can like set the refresh rate as far as the number of seconds and number of pages all of that instead what supernote has done is try to go with the most common tasks so when you are moving around the device when should it auto refresh and it's also done something that remarkable has done from what I've seen with the Paper Pro, which is localized refresh. And I think that's kind of interesting to, to take a look at. So that's what I'm going to show you here. So if we were to lasso this, and I go and I move it, and you can see there's that level of ghosting there. And when I let this go, you're going to see just that area where there was ghosting refresh. The same is true if you go up here. And we circle this one. And again, this is going to be smaller, but you can see there's some ghosting happening there. Then when I let it go, everywhere that movement happened, everywhere that box went, you had that ghosting. Uh, you, you had that refresh. And what's even cooler is if I want to turn this into a header, and let's say I want to go ahead and turn that into a heading. Now I want to move that heading. Put it over here, you'll see there is a ghosting trail. Again, it's going to do it there too. Now, what's really interesting as well is whenever I switch out of this note, it does a refresh as well. One more thing we'll show real quick this is your home or your sleep screen, and you'll see it got rid of all of that ghosting. Uh, they even, on user feedback, made it so that it flashes right before the startup screen happens to get rid of the Supernote logo. There are very few things now that I see where it doesn't flash really quickly to take care of that issue. Occasionally I'll see like a remnant of a toolbar or something, and then as you know, it's a real quick swipe up. But for the most part, it does an exceptional job of knowing when to refresh. But that's it. Just another quick hit. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and I will talk to you soon.